What's up everyone, this is CyberNight8610, and today we'll open up something kind of different, and that is Judgment of the Light Deluxe Edition. Uh, yeah, I know we haven't opened up uh, something like this in quite a while, and uh, with Megatons and all, it probably isn't the best idea to get one of these, because it's all been reprinted, but I got it really cheap, and I was like, you know, I, I just can't help myself, so you guys know that on opening, so let's see, we can still get something cool from this. Not everything was reprinted in the Megatons on these, so... I don't remember if everything from Judgment the Light was or not. I know, like, of course, Noble Knight stuff, which they're getting in their own box, and different stuff wasn't. So we have a uh, Spellbook box. From this one, we get the sleeves. I kind of like the sleeves. I don't know. I use them for different stuff, like to protect my cards in my binder and stuff, so they're nice for that. Not really too great for actually using in the game, though, or something. I make sure You always want to make sure you get all the cards out of these. So there we go. Nothing in that. Go ahead and kind of put that to the side, have less on this table. Uh, we have a beginner's guide, so you know you get these for all the, to kind of teach you how to play the game and stuff, kind of the basics on that. Have our packs, uh, let's go with the promo first. You get a promo pack and then you get like a sneak preview of a card that's, you know, in the pack that's after this, but of course not much sneak preview nowadays. So we have Archie Emperor, a Flying Sea, and Vampire Kingdom. So let's see what we get from our actual packs. Judgment of the Light. Alright, we have Dark ZW Chimera Clad. We have a Trap Tricks. Don't mind getting some of those Trap Tricks cards, those are still useful. I guess that's the one that's not as useful as the others, though, but... Steel. Let's see, we have a number 104 Masquerade and uh, HTC uh, Sci Sahemoth? Sahemoth, I think is how you say that. It's like Behemoth, I think, and uh, Psychic. So, uh, yeah, that is a good uh, Synchro Monster to get, so pretty cool. Super rare. I like that Synchro Monster. I think it's a pretty good one. I don't remember if that's in the Mega Tension or not. That might have been reprinted. Either way, I don't care. It's still a cool card. Flying Sea. Then we have a number uh, 102, Star Seraph Sentry, and a uh, number C39, uh, Utopia Ray Victory Ultimate Rare. That just looks awesome. I love Utopia Victory. It's probably my favorite of all the forms, even though we've had some like newer forms lately. Kind of see as an ultimate, too. Hopefully you guys can kind of see the artwork. But man, I just think it looks the coolest. Uh, it's one of my favorite cards from Zell or Zexel, whatever you prefer to say. You know, Japanese way of saying it, or English version. And uh, yeah, of course it's Utopia. Gotta have those Utopia cards and reprints anyway. You guys know that. So far, two hollows. I'm happy with that. Let's see if we can get even more cards. Uh, con let's see. Uh, confronting the Sea. A lot of Xe monsters are comments in this set, too. Moondance Ritual. This is kind of funny, it kind of trolls you on that too, with all these like rares and uh, common XC monsters. Sometimes you think, you know, that you're getting a hollow when it's not, unfortunately. Archfiend Labyrinth. But there's a lot of good. I I'm glad that a lot of these are like common and stuff though too. See, only two packs left. Let's see, we have V Salamander and uh, Fire King Avatar Yaksha. There you go. Uh, I have quite a few of these, too. Hopefully, there's someone out there that needs them, because I think this is like my second playset now of these. Uh, no complaints, though. Awesome card. So, I'm definitely not going to complain about Hollow. I'm just saying, uh, I think that card might be my spirit monster or something. I don't know. I mean, I don't even play anything that uses him. Maybe I should. <laughs> Last pack. Let's see if we can end with a hollow. We have a uh, Brother of the Fire Fist Boar and Angel of Zera. Now that is ending with a hollow. A secret rare of all things too. That looks just amazing. I don't know if that was reprinted in the Megatons or not. I don't remember. There's so many 
dang things in those Mega Tibs. I can't remember all the cards on that. But yeah, I remember getting it from the sneak preview uh, back then, whenever this was a new pack and all in there. And uh, this is still an awesome secret rare to get. Angel of Zera. I mean, I always like a, all those different Zera cards too from, from back in the day. So uh, it's awesome that they had a, a new Synchro anyway for it. But yeah, we were able to get a Seeker Air, two Supers, and an Ultimate. So we definitely did very well with that. So I'm glad I got this. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the opening. Of course, thank you for watching. Make sure to come and subscribe. Tell me other tins, packs, boxes, deluxe editions you want to see in the future. And I'll try to get them for uh, opening videos in the future. So always, thank you for watching. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. It does help me out a lot. And I will catch you guys later. See ya.